Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello, I'm the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. This is a follow up video of the video I made about the CR10, comparing the CR10 to the Purusha. So, this is kind of the fourth time I've tried to make this video. Lots of technical issues going on here. So, real quick, just want to show you some test prints that I made, which is a direct head to head comparison between the CR10 and the Prusa with a variety of different settings. So, in the last video, some folks had made the comment, uh, three or four primary comments, that the zinning was caused by either uh, not very good filament the filament being moist uh, or the coast slash wipe settings in simplify 3d so i went off in simplify 3d and used two different filaments and did a head-to-head -head comparison of different prints using those two so here are the results i started off with the calibration cube which is the maker muse 20 millimeter calibration cube let me see if i can focus in here there you go you can see the results uh, the, the cubes actually turned out uh, incredibly well. Uh, the print lines are very straightforward, uh, good infill, uh, really, really great prints. The only thing that I would say about these two prints is you can see on the corners here, uh, right here, right there, and right here, there's this little bump, for lack of a better uh, description. Now, these cubes were printed with Coast and Wipe Off. I printed the exact same cubes with coast and wipe on and hopefully see if I can get this lined up properly and there we go okay so these were printed with coast and wipe on as the suggestions in the comments said that if I turn coast and wipe on I would get better results now you can see here that from a print line perspective these these prints are nearly identical what I will note is with the coast and wipe on you will see on this corner just like the other one uh, this little line on the side here but in this case rather than it just going there you go I think you can see it pretty well there rather than it just going uh, just partially up the side you can see it goes all the way up uh, that is I believe where the the printer is retracting or moving to the next layer you can see it Okay, so here is the brown one. You can see it a little bit better right there uh, on this, starting right about there, going all the way up to the top. So that this is with coast on and wipe on. So the suggestion was the zitting would be removed without the coast, uh, with coast turned on and wipe turned on. You can see there's no zitting, uh, but there is this line, which I believe is where the retraction is. So I chose to print a slightly more complicated model. I started out with the black. Here, uh, this is the Darth Vader head low poly by uh, Flow to Stick. Uh, there you go. This print actually did not turn out uh, terribly well. I had some bed leveling issues with the CR10. But you can see <clears throat> there's a little bit of artifacting on the helmet. Uh, there is some zitting near the top. Uh, it just doesn't look nice and flat and smooth like you would expect. And then this artifact kind of here. Let me turn it. Right about there and then if I turn it some more uh, this artifact right here so you can see the zitting across the helmet it's pretty it's pretty bad actually um, this is the same black that I printed the cube in I actually printed this before I printed the cube uh, with the same settings and so I reproduced this uh, so far in the brown but not in the black so this is printed on the CR10 with coast and wipe on so you can see right off the bat, turn this guy here, that little issue right there, and one little zit to the side. Uh, this artifact right here seems to be consistent. Uh, you can see it printed pretty well, otherwise nice, straight, smooth lines. Um, and one of the suggestions I actually got in the last video was to use like a turntable for this, which I will in the future. But <clears throat> So coast and wipe on was that one. This is coast and wipe off. Right, and you will see right off the bat, so that artifact there is still there, but it's a little bit better, but there is some zitting here, right? And then on the other side, there's the artifact again. So it seems to be pretty consistent, at least in Simplify 3D, where it's putting these kind of retractions. So I switched over, uh, same model, same settings essentially, except this is the Prusa. So this is... Uh, 1.0 and coast and wipe on. So one 
the extrusion multiplier set to 1. I tried different extrusion multipliers too to see if that would have any effect, and it did not. And again, this is the inexpensive uh, inland filament. You can see it did not print quite as well. It's got this kind of, um, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, that business going on. And then on the other side, there's there's our friendly artifact again. Uh, it is nearly identical. In fact, it is identical to the artifact that the CRN print, CR10 printed with the same exact setting. So coast and wipe on, the artifact is there and it's nearly identical. So here we go, switching over to, this is the Prusa coast and wipe off. You can see uh, there is our friendly artifact again with a little zit. And then on the other side, the same situation, that same artifact with a little, just a little zit there in the back. So the only conclusive results I feel that I can draw from this really is the fact that the two printers with the same settings print nearly identically. Uh, the coast and the wipe settings did not seem to fix these artifacts. There is not a lot of zitting on this particular model when I print it, even though when I, uh, in the brown anyway, even though when I printed this one in the black, there was. So um, what I will do is I will do probably likely another follow-up print of the heads in black on both of the printers and see if the results are the same. If it is, then uh, what that tells me really is that it's not the pr it's not the printer, it's not the settings, it's not the filament, right? It is uh, something to do with the, with the motion of the printer while it's being printed. Uh, so uh, standby is the only thing I can say, inconclusive results at this point. I do appreciate you watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Last video got quite a number of dislikes, which I'm still trying to figure out why. But it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll continue to make these videos. Please leave your comments and suggestions down below. They were very helpful last time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see everyone soon. Thanks, everyone.